Hi everyone, uh, today we will talk uh, about the basic concepts of tenants and subscriptions. So what is a tenant, what is a subscription and the account or a user? So tenant is nothing but uh, this is equivalent to your organization. So if you can see in this diagram, now on the left hand side I have a tenant, I have an organization. So if I have a company, say for example, say uh, hijamapro.com, this is the domain name of my company. So this is nothing but my tenant in Azure. So in Azure, if you want to define an organization or a company, you define it as a tenant and tenant to create a tenant what you need you need an azure, uh, azure active directory so now if you if you combine or if you if you compare this or this is uh, something like an analogous to an apartment so you have an apartment building or an apartment complex and in that apartment complex you can have multiple apartments and one of the apartment is your house or uh, is something which is equivalent to your company so in that apartment complex i can have multiple houses which can be a multiple company similarly azure can have multiple tenants belonging to different companies so uh, in short your tenant is nothing but your company or an organization so let's go ahead so again same thing uh, uh just to uh, just to rephrase here again a representation of an organization is nothing but a tenant and usually uh it is represented by a public domain so you have like xyz.com or you have like uh, a, a cloudking.com or cloudking.org this is how you will represent a public domain of your uh, company uh, using the uh, the domain name now will be assigned a domain if not specified. So what this means is if you if you uh, if you create a domain, if you create a tenant, uh, which is a fresh new tenant, in the beginning Amazon, in the beginning uh, Azure will basically go and create uh, your company name or whichever name you have given for your tenant x y z dot on Microsoft dot com, and you cannot delete this uh, domain name. This will be a primary domain name until unless you go and assign your uh, public do uh, your specific public domain name with for this specific tenant and a dedicated instance of azure active directory is required to hold a tenant so to create a tenant you need an azure azure active directory and inside that azure active directory you will create a tenant which is equivalent to your organization and every tenant will have the uh, the user account which is a azure account or azure user which can which can uh, be a part of the tenant and it can control it and it can basically do all the uh, admin activity on the tenant so we will cover all these this is just i'm co covering a theory here so we will cover all the specific and uh, basic hands-on uh, link to the subscription what is the tenant what is the user so right now i'm focusing off uh, on here to just to uh, make sure all the uh, the basic concepts and the basic wordings and the uh, definitions are clear here so let's go for the subscription now an agreement with the microsoft user for the with the microsoft to use the azure services and how you're going to pay them so now uh, inside my company i can have multiple subscription so inside my tenant i can have multiple subscription and this subscription basically help me out to uh, to organize my billing uh, which will help me out to organize a specific billing for a specific department now for example say if i have a company in that company i have an RD department i have a service department and i have a uh, customer service department so now these three different uh, different departments where what i can do is i can create one subscription for each department and that subscription will be focused on that department to capture all the resources which is used by that department and accordingly uh, charge that department for the services used by them so in this way it becomes very easy for the company to understand which department is using which service of azure and how much they are charging how much they are charged for that specific month or for the quarter or for year and accordingly they can take a decision so you can also create a subscription for maybe like production environment for development environment and maybe for uat and testing environment something of this kind so we will cover an entire hands-on on subscription also so right now uh, just to uh to begin with to understand what exactly it is or uh, this is what the subscription is it basically helps you out the way you will go and pay out to microsoft and all the azure resources usage gets built to the payment method of the subscription now there are three different types of subscription in uh, in azure one is a free subscription where you go and create your uh, account on uh, azure portal and there you get uh, for, for a month you get a free subscription where you can go and use the service for uh, there is an upper limit of $200 for a month and then you can use play around and understand what exactly the uh, the, uh, the different services of Azure are and after that is done what you can do is you can go pay as you go you can go for the next one next uh, next uh, which is uh, the plan here is pay as you go it means right uh, right now uh, my one month of free subscription is done so now I have to uh, pay uh, the way I'm using my services so if I'm using a VM if I'm using a storage so uh, on the maybe on the hourly basis uh, if i'm using for one day for one hour for two hour i will be charged accordingly for that service this is what it means pay as you go and then you have an enterprise agreements where a company can go to uh, microsoft azure and then say okay uh, we need this specific uh, 
uh, services for maybe like uh, they are committed to that okay we will use your vm for one year and this is the size of the vm so we uh, we will specifically need in our organization maybe a uh, specific number of cores and all those things so this is what the uh, three kind of subscription we have then what is an account and a user account or a user is nothing but a simple user which will be belonging to the tenant and this user uh, it can be a person or it can be an application so this is what the account of the user is again you will see everything uh, hands on in the, in the lab how exactly we can create the user in the azure active directory how we can link this user to the tenant how this user can uh, control the tenant and how it can create multiple subscriptions so we will see all those things in the upcoming labs okay and it is not necessary for every tenant to have a subscription now if you see a screenshot here i've given an example uh, here now this is my subscription cloud king if you can see here and this subscription is not having any subscription uh, this tenant sorry is not having any uh, subscription here this is what it means so you can have a tenant without a subscription but this is not recommended actually because then you will not have any uh, visibility who is using which kind of uh, services in the azure so just to avoid confusion is always good to have multiple subscription in a tenant and uh, we can have more than one subscription in a tenant this is what we discussed about because if you have an R&D department you can have one subscription if you have a service department you can have one subscription for that and in this way you can just bifurcate and you can segregate all this department into a subscription and then have a very good view of what exactly which department is doing and which services they are using and how much they are charged on the monthly or the uh, yearly basis and multiple users or accounts can be an owner in a tenant so i have a tenant which is an organization and i can have multiple uh, you can say admin people uh, who can go and uh, management tenant so i have for example say two different people two different person they both are owner and they can go and control the uh, the organization it means like the who who uh, uh, who can create a subscription or uh, how many subscriptions should be there or uh, they can create multiple users within a tenant so they can they can basically go and uh, decide about the uh, at the organization level this is what something uh, uh, they have the uh, ability or the right to do it so hopefully this was useful for you guys uh, so in the upcoming lags uh, upcoming labs i will cover each and everything each and every concept hand, hands on this will be uh, more, uh, this will be like useful for you guys so hopefully this was this was uh, useful for uh, for you guys and adding value and um, uh, maybe like the concepts are clear about the tenant subscription and the account user thank you